Okay, I'm TJ Ward, Great Days Outdoors Magazine. Uh, gonna do a little video uh, for you today. My fire has gone out. I I started a fire. It had a lot of bugs, so I got some green wood and got some good smoke going. Got all the bugs out of here. Um, real warm weather. Um, I did an article on uh, uh, self-reliance in the woods, and I, I wanted to do a a uh, video on things I carry in my pack and I talk about a little bit about you know public hunt uh, how easy it is uh, to go on public hunts in Alabama the opportunity uh, that you have in this state to do do-it-yourself hunts um, and the adventure of it all and, uh, there, and there's nothing wrong with doing the other style of hunting like still hunting or hunting over food plots or you know uh, in a lease or whatever I've, I've done that I, I do that myself um, <clears throat> sat over many food plots and whatnot, but you know, but I find myself more and more wanting to uh, uh, to get in to public hunts and and have more, you know, challenge myself a little bit more. Tell a little bit about myself. Uh, I've spent 16 years in the military as a scout, and um, I've got an infantry MOS also. Uh, been hunting, fishing all my life. Um, been practicing uh, survival skills or wilderness skills. Uh, near about all my life, uh, just always loved it, and and over the years have have perf you know I wouldn't say perfected, but have um, changed a lot of things up and, and and made them better, made them easier. I've learned a lot through the mil you know with the military also uh, on this subject, um, mainly adapt and overcome. I mean, and that, that could be uh, implemented in anything in life. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to talk about the five C's of survivability. Now, the five C's of survivability I've got from <clears throat> Dave Canterbury. He runs a uh, and a school, and it, he's he's online. He's got a bunch of YouTube uh, videos. Uh, his school is called Pathfinder School, and he's also he was uh, you know a dual host uh, for Dual Survival on the Discovery Channel uh, for a couple of seasons. Uh, I, I would say that he knows what he's talking about, but I I, I took his his uh, system and just implemented it in what I do because it makes sense. And the five C's are cutting, container, combustible system to make fire with, cordage, and cover. Okay, uh, and I've got these things laid out right here, and this is what I carry in my pack. And if you find yourself in a situation where uh, you need, you know, to sustain yourself for maybe two or three days. Uh, if you're on a public hunt and you get lost or things go wrong, uh, what you have in your pack and what I have in my pack and what you could carry in your pack is like mine will get you through uh, that situation until you can get rescued or until you find your way back, um, whatever the case may be. Um, and we're, we're going to go over the rules of three today. I also want to I want to hit that um, when and you kind of prioritize your your situation when you're in a, when you're in that uh, situation. If you if you find yourself lost, if you're in a public uh, area, uh, management area, or um, you know a national forest, and and let's just say for some reason you're on a scout or whatever, and you get lost, uh, a lot of people panic. Don't panic, and you go over your head what the rules of three are, and they are uh, three minutes without air, and you pretty much your body's going to shut down. Uh, Three hours in the elements, uh, your your body state starts uh, uh, feeling the effects of it, whether it be uh, hypothermia or heat exhaustion. Uh, weather, of course, will dictate that. Um, three days without water, your body shuts down. Three weeks without food, your body shuts down. So you can prioritize your situation by just thinking of that, and even at, just using that um, can it, you know. Uh, can assure your survival, your survival uh, ability, you know, greatly by just sitting down and calming down and not panicking and and, and go over that in your head. Uh, because if you know that you're you're in your second day hunt and you're going to be gone five days, and you told your loved ones, you know, you'll be back on this date. You got three days, you know, before anybody's going to be looking for you. So. You know you need, and if you're breathing, you know you need shelter and fire, all right? Because you need to boil water, right? Okay. Now we're, we're going to go over what you have in your pack, be able to do that. So you prioritize your that and build your shelter, get your fire, get your water going. You're you're good. You know you're good for 72 hours. Um, then you can 
you know, think about where you're at and how to get yourself out of it. So let's go over five C's that um, cutting tools and what I carry. Um, I've got a Weirdly Max here. I don't, this is what I use around camp as far as a scout. Uh, if it depends on how long I'm going to be gone, uh, I will attach this to my pack. And I've got not this particular pack. I got another pack I use on a on an advanced scout trip. What I would call an advanced scout trip because this is you know this cutting tool you know you can do a lot with build shelters um, and just you know it's a really good tool to have. It's a Weatherlings axe like I said. It's hand forged in Sweden. Um, you can get this at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You can you know get online. Uh, they're out of uh, Sevierville, Tennessee, and, and they, I think I paid sixty-five dollars for this. But it's got a good hickory wood handle. The reason why I like that is because if it does break, I can replace it. Um, good carbon, high carbon steel, uh, hand forged axe head. Last you a long time. Um, I carry, I carry. Uh, I've been carrying for a long time. K bar knife, um, good seven-inch blade, and, and on a knife you look for. A good 90 degree angle, uh, high carbon steel of course, and this is a seven inch blade I believe, at least between four to seven inches you need. Um, this will throw a spark real good because of the 90 degree angle on the back, I gotta have a good spine on that. Um, any military surplus store, outdoor store carries these. Um, I think they range anywhere from 65 to 85 dollars I believe. It's been a long time since I paid for one because I've had this one for years. Um, this is my son's knife. It's a Mora knife. I carry a Mora around my neck, and I'll show you that, that in, in a minute. Um, good knife. It's a Swedish made blade. Um, and this is the Mora survival knife, also on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You can find that on there. Uh, and, and when you get on the line on the website, just search it by product Mora, and they they've got it uh, listed down there uh, on the website. Uh, what the reason why I like about this because it covers two of your five C's. You got your cutting, which good carving tool, um, four inch blade, high carbon steel, good angle. You know, uh, 90 degree angle by, back, good spine on it. It's a tough blade, um, good rubber handle on it, and also ferro seam rod. Those good sparks. I mean, you can that's sure fire. So it covers two of the five C's survivability. And I, I like this blade. I'm probably going to start carrying this particular knife. Um, I'm, and it's got a diamond plated uh, sharpener on the on the sheath also. My son carries this. Uh, he loves it. You know, very good choice. Very good choice. Um, I also carry a more knife myself. I can get it out. I usually can. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it's a, uh, more knife. I, I've had this one for years. Uh, good, good handle on it. Uh, again, I think I've got, I believe, I believe I got this one at, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works also. Um, they're about 10, 15 bucks. Not bad. Good high carbon steel um, blade, good carving tool. I've skinned many a deer with this thing, cleaned many a fish with it. Um, very good tool to have. Very good tool to have. Um, that's, that goes over to cutting uh, container. Uh, it doesn't really matter on container as long as you can boil water. All right, guys. Uh, this is a, if I can get it off, canteen. Uh, canteen and canteen cup. It's a military style canteen from Italy. Um, I, I've used the you know U.S. canteens, of course, being in the military millions of times. I've carried them things. It's a good, good thing to have. I just like this because it's not too small, not too big. Any military surplus, you know, store carries them. But as long as you can boil water, that's the main key. Boil water uh, in your system. All right, combustible. Of course, ferro seam rod, I carry that everywhere I go. Uh, lighter, waterproof mattress. This is a uh, palmade. Got this at Dollar General for a dollar. What I have done, palmade is very flammable. That's why I started this fire. Of course, it's done gone out but because uh, I haven't been tending it. Uh, I've got cotton ball stuff in here. 
and it's got that pomade stuff on it very flammable take it out put it in your um in your tender strike it takes a good strike you know won't, no problem at all you got surefire doesn't take up much room this is also a container guys container um so uh redundancy that's that's a good thing in self-reliance in the woods uh when you're done with this you can uh punch a hole in in top in this uh like a pin size hole and make char cloth also out of it um we'll go over a video later on how to do that cordage uh, this is i carry this a lot uh paracord military grade mp surplus i got it here pink any kind of surplus store you can buy that uh bank line walmart carries this set line this is 330 pound test line i think it's 150 foot it's what you use for uh truck lines for catfish uh set lines for catfish or whatever but it makes really good cordage uh seven dollars at walmart um also carry if you do find yourself in a long-term situation uh, this is a snare line i think it holds up to 90 pounds uh test line um this is enough to set out plenty of snares if you find yourself in that situation where you want to secure meat and get some protein and some energy um we can go over and i'll i'll go over in another video also a lot of knowledge here um on how to set traps and whatnot uh we'll go over that at a later date um and another thing i carry garbage bag i mean it's not really a five c survivability but the last five c's is cover forgot that what is it? everything's laying on is my tarp all right i've got it's a seven by seven tarp um i've got it at walmart for twelve dollars it's got a reflective side on it so in you know in the winter time when i do set my camp up uh the reflective side down to the fire to, and what it does with the heat from the fire reflects it off the reflective side of the tarp down on you uh and also, and also can be used for signaling singling. um so that's that's a good thing to have 12 bucks guys not you know not expensive at all um also carry just a few other things of course not five seats probably what i said garbage bags i got a compass um a cotton bandana that i carry um use for whatever in a hammock uh i keep in my pack so those are the uh things i carry in my pack um guys we sure do appreciate you reading our magazine and watching this video and again go out and challenge yourselves uh alabama's got a very good opportunity from the tensaw delta down to mobile all the way to the southern appalachians uh, in the north uh north and north of the state you know up north uh so a good variety of of land terrain and and situations that you you know you can um find yourself in a hunt uh, a lot of game you know it's just it's it's out there just get out there and, and test yourself uh between seasons you know go camping and and carry just the minimum stuff see what you know you know um and see you just gradually get yourself to a point where you can feel like you know you're you're you got enough knowledge and you're um, confident enough to go on a do-it-yourself hunt uh, like I'm talking about um, but like I said we want to promote that more you know because again um, it's good opportunities uh, it, it's fun you know, get a couple of friends to do it and again it's, it's challenging um, good adventure so I'm TJ Ward with Great Days Outdoors Magazine I appreciate you watching and I'll come back with you hopefully with another video